Welcome back to Worth the Effort Woodworking. Now there's a saying out there that if you can't sharpen, you just can't woodwork. And what I mean by being able to sharpen is creating a shape of a blade, being able to put an edge on that blade, and then being able to hone or polish that edge to a mere finish so that when you look at the two different angles, they completely disappear into each other. That is the definition of sharp. And there are numerous ways of accomplishing that task out there. The thing is, not very many of them are convenient, especially in that last aspect, honing, which is what you need to do constantly if you want to maintain an edge instead of having to just recreate it every time you sharpen. That was the motivation for me coming out with a new sharpening appliance I'm calling the Convenient Sharpening Appliance. Now, if you are just getting into woodworking, especially hand tool woodworking, you could look at this sharpening appliance as your go-to setup. But I can guarantee you, you will end up buying a set of stones and a grinder to go into it. And in my opinion, that's where you should start. Spend money on a nice set of sharpening stones, spend money on a nice grinder, and go from there. I've actually designed this as a luxury accessory that you can keep at your bench to make the honing process a lot more convenient. And if you hone often, it, makes, it maintains your edge so you're not having to recreate the whole thing every time you sharpen. And that gets you a keener tool, a safer tool, makes your work go a lot easier, and the final product will be better. These appliances, both the deluxe and the standard version, are built to take the abuse that you're going to inflict on them sitting around your bench. And will do the things you require most often, such as the constant honing, the occasional time that you might need to add a mic quick micro bevel, or repair a slightly crumbled edge. They can do all that in mere seconds, allowing you to get back to work. When you order your appliance, it's going to come in a kit form because I want you to be able to customize it for your specific sharpening needs. The kit will include a base plate, either the standard version or the deluxe version. And this base plate is made out of a half inch thick sheet of 6061 T6 aluminum. Now straight off the extrusion, this thing is extremely flat, flat enough for our woodworking work, but we went the extra step and machined the top of it so it will be dead flat. Another reason why we use the uh, T6 of the 6061 variation is because it is incredibly stable and corrosion resistant so it'd be perfect for around the bench but if you do happen to damage it maybe a corner or something like that you can easily use a mill file to repair it you will notice that both the standard deluxe version have a groove running down the center that way you can easily apply exactly one third a sheet of abrasive to get the most life out of your abrasives uh, included in the kit are those abrasives or at least the two versions that I use myself. I really do like this 3M product. It's designed to shoot for high speed sh uh, tool sharpening, so it works incredibly well for what we use on it. Uh, I include a 15 micron sheet, which is the equivalent of about 1000 grit, which allows me to easily repair a slightly folded edge or something like that, something not quite enough for me to go to the stones. I can really quickly repair it here hone it, polish it, and get back to work. Also, if I'm doing some chopping, I want to add a slight micro bevel just really quickly, a few strokes right there, I'm all at it. Also, I'm including a 0.5 micron sheet, which is about the equivalent of a 9,000 water stone, which is a polishing stone. So that will be the final portion before you just go back to work. We also include an oversized leather sheet so that you can place this on the back of it with the adhesive and cut it down. The reason why I don't attach it is if you're like me, you're just going to have the entire back on the smooth side because that's really all I use. I know a lot of people like something a little bit rougher that they can put rouge on and they will prefer the back side of it. But some of you all be smart and you'll just split this sheet down the middle so that you can have a rough and smooth side. One side for rouge, the other side for straight polishing. Either way, you can set it up the way you want. In the production run, both the standard and the deluxe versions will have these cutouts on the upper corners. It shows that it's set to 25 and 30 degrees. 
These are to help you consistently set up your grinder. Simply place the top of it onto your ledge, touch the bottom edge down to your grinding wheel, rotate it around until the top edge touches and lock it down and you will have your grinder set up. And I will show you how to get this totally dialed in in our extended video. Now for those of y'all that prefer using jigs for your sharpening process, and I am one of those people for most of the time, because it only takes a few seconds to set up, we have recesses set up for the ever popular Eclipse knockoff styles of jigs out there. And if there's interest and we can get permission from the manufacturers, there are a lot of other jigs that are less common that we will look into making specific models for them. And basically all you do is set them up, is to set the protrusion on the side, Tighten it up. And add a little honing. Fairly simple. Remove the burr. And once again, get back to work. We have it set up so you can set it up for a 25 degree on your chisels or your 30 degrees on the chisels. And these will accommodate up to a 2 inch chisel. On the plane side, since most hand planes are use a 30 degree bevel, we just did the 30 degrees on there. And this is set up so that you can use up to a 7 or 8 Bailey style blade. Very wide with a little bit of slop in there. So there you go. A convenient sharpening appliance. Something you can keep by the side of your bench. Take a, Create a burr. Remove the burr and get back to work. It works great on chisels and planes, that's common sense, but it also works really well on things like your knives. I find it incredibly useful to be able to put the shank up to the edge of it and draw out a nice long stroke when I'm honing the edges of my carving knives. Same for even the curved tools I have, like carving gouges and my hook knife. I can create the burr on the rouge side or the smooth side and then just flip it over and use the curve right here to remove that burr from the inside. Works wonders. It's quick and easy. A convenient setup for you to use day in day out. Now we do have an extended cut video coming out that will go into a lot more details on all this stuff and how you can use it, set it up, customize it for your specific use. And we are also having an introductory special going on through the end of July with production starting up in August so that you can have it in your hands hopefully by the end of August. So there you have it. A convenient sharpening setup. A real luxury addition to your normal workflow. So remember this one last thing for me. It is always worth the effort to learn, create, and share with others. Y'all be safe and have fun.